This is number 227 in OGU 13. If this fancy expression equals this other fancy expression, then what is the difference between the exponents, meaning the exponents m and k? All right, so what is the difference between this guy and this guy? Both of them on both sides of the equation are formatted in something 10 to the something power divided by 10 to the something power equals something 10 to the power. So this is a good format because you can combine these later and then find the difference in exponents since this is basically 10 to the, you know, x minus y equals 10 to the something and then you can just form an equation that way. So let's do it that way. This basically gets us 15 times 10 to the minus 4 power and then on the bottom you have 3 times 10 to the minus 2 power. So then there's a 10 to the m power here. You multiply this by 10 to the m. This one has a 10 to the k power. And then this one is basically 5 times 10 to the 7th power. So you basically combine the, the 10s and you have 15 times 10 to the minus 4 plus m power and then on the bottom you have 3 times 10 to the minus 2 plus k power. You notice that this 15 over 3 cancels out with the 5 over here. They're both equal to 5. So if you would write it out it would look like this. You know, the remaining parts would be 10 to the m minus 4 divided by 10 to the k minus 2 equals 10 to the 7th. And when you divide, that's the same as keeping the base and then subtracting the exponents. So you have m minus 4 minus the quantity k minus 2 equals 10 to the 7th. And that's basically, you know, m minus uh, minus 4 and then you have to add 2 so let's take the k first m minus 4 and then this would be a minus 2 equals 7 so then this equation gets us over here and you basically get the difference between m minus k as you know add both 2 to both sides so that becomes m minus k equals 9 so the original question was, well, what is m minus k? m minus k equals what? Well, it turns out m minus k equals 9, and that turns out to be answer choice A. Okay, so let's go over concepts. You basically have a fraction here equals another uh, expression. Both of them have times 10 to the something power. So the idea here, in order to find the difference between the exponent here, like this m, and the k is to combine these things into something times 10 to the something power. So in this case you have you know this 0 0.0015 becomes 15 times 10 to the minus 4 power because there's four decimals 1, 2, 3, 4 and this 3, 0 0.03 becomes 3 times 10 to the minus 2 power because there's two decimal points that you have to move to get in front of the 3. So then you have these two expressions, and then of course you just bring over the 10 to the m power here. 10 to the k brings over here, and then 5 times 10 to the 7 stays there. And then you notice on this left side when we simplify it, you basically have 15 over 3. That cancels out with the 5 that's over here. And so you're left with just this part, 10 to the m power, um, you know, and, and these expressions. 10 to the m combined with the minus 4, you get 10 to the minus 4 plus m. This one, 10 to the k minus 2, goes over here. And then this expression, it's, you know, we, we brought it over here, right? This expression right here. And we brought this 10 to the 7th down over here. And then so this is really the equation that we, that we kind of left, got left with. Right? So this equation right here. So this equation, you know, where do we go from here? 
there is a property where when you're dividing you know something with the same base then that's the same as keeping the base and subtracting the exponent so in this case it's basically 10 to the numerator minus the denominator and then one point to note is when you're minus a negative number that's the same as adding so that becomes m minus k and then the minus 4 combined with the minus negative 2 gets us to neg minus 2. And then that equals the exponent on the other side since they have the same base, and that equals 7. So this single equation brings us to m minus k equals 9, and that was the original question. That answer turns out to be 9. So as a recap, you look at the structure of this equation, and you basically have something like you know a times 10, to the something power divided by b times 10 to, to the something power equals you know c times 10 to the something power all right so it turns out that you want everything in constants you can always combine these easily right whenever you have the same base you just combine the exponents you basically say keep the base subtract the exponents and that's all you need to do. First, you simplify this 0.0015 um, so that you can com combine whatever exponent there is there with the m here. So that you know it's going to be m plus something or m minus something um, as the exponent. The same thing on the bottom. So the bottom, you have 10 to the k power. So you do either k plus 2 um, you know, or you know k plus or minus whatever the number is. And then you combine those exponents and then you have a 10 on top 10 on bottom that's another way to combine it so as a second step you would divide it by subtracting the exponents and then once you do that you basically have oh well both sides you know it's, it's like 10 to the something power you know 10 to the something power equals 10 to the you know some other power then you basically set a equal to b and that's basically what you did and inside this a and b you basically have those um, variables m and k and it's positioned so that m minus k um, equals something so you have to solve for this something it doesn't matter what m is and it also does not matter what k is you just need to know what the quantity m minus k what is that and it turns out by setting it up like this with common bases um, and combining exponents you can find that m minus k is equal to 9, answer choice A.